Hey, what is up, Wagglestown Elementary, third through sixth graders? This is Mr. Rowan tuning into you live from my YouTube channel. Uh, today, for this week, we are going to be doing an activity called Sock Ball Miniature Golf. Now, this game is a lot of fun. And what I ask is that you don't just play one hole, you play multiple, you know, you move around and you have some fun in your house. Make it creative. Um, and at the end, to turn in your assignment for this week to get credit for Phys Ed, please take a picture or a video of you playing the game and email it to me, to my email. My email, as you know, is jrowand, R-O-W-A-N-D, at doversd.org. I will get that email. I'll see it. I'll respond to you. We'll have a great time with it. Now, for sock ball miniature golf, you're going to need a couple of things to play. First thing that you're going to need is you're going to need sock balls. Now, Mr. Rowan's going to be in bare feet playing this because we had to use my only two socks for me to play. You'll also need some targets. Like, I'm using either a blender cup or a bigger cup that you have. Something that your sock can fit into comfortably. My sock can go in there completely fine. It's very easy to do. You're also going to need a second player. Now, the second player can be yourself. If you don't have anybody else to play with yourself, at least try twice. Um, this second player can be a younger sibling, an older sibling. It can be mom and dad. What I ask, though, is that somebody plays against you. I have my lovely fiance, Miss Winslow, uh, to play with me today. So we are going to play, and we're going to show you how this is done. The ne last thing you're going to need is you're going to need a tool to hit the ball with. Now, you can be creative. I know that I have lots to choose from behind me, and I'm going to show you each one before I choose, okay? So, as I aim this down so that you can see, I have the chosen materials back behind me on the lovely couch. I also forgot to mention that you will also need some boundaries to play. Set up a little type of boundaries to play. Now, I have a puppy, as you all know. These are a lot of his chew toys, plus a little of my own toys. I'm going to show you how we're going to play through the golf course as we get started. So, going over to choose our things. You can choose first, Miss Winslow. Go ahead and choose yours as I set up the course for us. She is choosing the yardstick. That leaves Mr. Rowan with the baseball that. That's what I'm going to use. I also have some gift wrapping paper here if you would like to choose that. I also have my dad is a very big golfer, so he has a golf putter here to choose. I also have some sticks. If you can't find anything else, you know, use a stick. Have a smaller one if you're a little shorter. No offense, third graders. And we are going to have a lot of fun. So I'm going to bend down the computer now so you can see our game as we start. As you can see down over here, there is the target that we're going to be aiming for. And up here is where we're going to be starting the game. So you may go ahead and hit first. I'll go first and we'll rotate back and forth. So my first hit. Oh, man. <laughs> I missed the first hit. So I hit twice already. Go ahead. Hit your first hit. Once. Twice. You got to get these sock balls to roll and sometimes that's a little difficult on your floor. There's three for me, three for you right next to me. I'm going to hit the line. In. The fourth one, who hit the bear. Your fourth one. Go ahead and my fifth coming across this blocked her. Let's see what she does. Oh, she's closer to me. Here's my sixth one. <laughs> I missed again. Six for you. You hit it into the cup and my seventh and now I hit it into the cup. The game is endless fun. How you continue from there is you can mix the course up, move some different obstacles around. Use a longer course. Go farther into your living room, wherever you have space. I care for all of you endlessly. I hope that you're all doing well and terrific during these tough times. Um, please... Like I said, as you're finished with this this week, as you create it, you play, take a picture on your iPad or a video, please send it to me via my email. Um, I'll say that again, and you can send it to me, and you will get credit for PE this week. I hope you all are having a wonderful time and a great Easter weekend right now. So that's when I'm recording this. So 
I will talk to you all via email. See ya.